Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make this tractor. Now if you guys want to make this trailer, I'll show you the basics of it and how simply it's made. So what you need is basically place two large tiles on the floor, so I'm going to get a large tile. It's not like in detail tutorial on how to make the trailer and the tractor, I'm just going to show you the basics of how to make the trailer if you want to make that. The hair barrels are just decoration, you can put whatever you want in there. But basically just place two large floors on the ground or whatever and then go and get tile and then basically just place tiles around the edges like that to make the trail and so i'm just going to put mine um, and basically just put tiles around the edges going around there and that's to make the trailer as you can see it's one out so make sure to put it one out so it looks better and to make the wheels, what you need to really do is just basically place um, two teeny floors alongside each other and then two, one slash one wedge is going up and then two teeny floors there and then another one slash one wedge and then two more teeny floors and then two other one slash one wedges and two teeny floors and then two other one slash one wedges. And then also two teeny floors in the middle which will be gold and these outer ones will be brown. So that's how you make the wheel. The distances between the wheel would be one smooth wall, so you can see that there. It'd be that distance. And that's how you make um, a trailer, or I guess the basics. Make sure it's um, one, two, three. I guess three units out from the trailer. You can make it however you want, but I'm not going to go into detail on the trailer. I'm just going to concentrate on the tractor, but I'm sure you guys can figure out how to make the trailer from looking at it. I mean, it's not hard. I often go off reference pictures and how to make stuff. And if you want to attach it, use neon wires or something and put them at the side, and then boom, that's done. Okay, first thing I'm going to show you guys is how to make the wheels. Now, I'm not going to go over how to make each individual wheel because that would just take too long. Instead, I'm going to show you guys how to make the small wheel and then the big wheel and then show you guys the distances between them okay so let's just teach you guys how to make this small wheel first so go and get a small floor blueprint like this so just place one on the floor like that and then rotate it and then place it like that then make sure it's outwards from there and then rotate it again and do the same thing. Make sure to place this small floor one unit above the first small floor. And then do this. Again. So there's like a one unit gap for the like gold things in the middle. And then press B and then go and get a wedge. And get the 2 slash 2 times 1 wedge to fill in the wheel. And then basically fill in these gaps. So fill the gaps with... 2 slash 2 times 1 wedge in here. Okay, keep doing that. Rotate, rotate. That should be easy to do the wheel. I'm just waiting. This is going to be the longest part because placing these is the most annoying. As usual. I, I do not find making these kind of tutorials where it's massive fun. Because they're a pain in the ass to like place all the blueprints keep doing that hopefully it doesn't mess up just see how long it takes to place one blueprint it doesn't help that the fact my base is like this has nine and then boom these are the two last blueprints to do all right so that's how you make the first wheel now in the middle place two teeny floors and make sure to colour them in gold and the outer wheel colour with brown wood. Now once you've done that the measuring distance between these two wheels is six stud so to just measure that out what you need to do is go and get a wall blueprint. So go and place a smooth wall blueprint down which is four units long and then go and get a smooth wall stub or a small floor and then place that there. And that will be the measuring distances between the front two wheels there. So six studs. Now this isn't even, so you have to match it up right and then replicate the first wheel and then do it over here as well, and that'll be the first part of the tractor. Okay, to make this big wheel, instead of placing the blueprints, because honestly, placing the blueprints is just really, really, really slow. 
plus two small flaws and a flaw like this, like that. And then over here, go and get the two slash two times one word. You can see two slash two times one. And then basically place them next to this uh, small flaw, so two of them at each side. And then on top of that, go and place two more small flaws at that side, and then another two small flaws at that side. And then on top of that, place another two slash two times one wedge, two of them on top of that. And then another two on top of that. So two slash two times one wedge, and in the middle there to connect it, place another two small flaws. And fill that in with brown wood. And then in the middle, put another two smalls and fill it in with uh, gold wood. Now that's how to make the wheel, and in terms of the distances again, it will be six units between these two small wheels at the front. I recommend making these first. And between this small wheel and big wheel, go and put a smooth wall there. And the best thing to do would be place, let's just say, a two slash two wedge, like halfway between this smooth wall and then place a small floor on top basically just make the first layer of the wheel first so you know how it looks so two slash two times one wedge small floor and then another two slash two times one wedge small floor and then another two slash two times one wedge small floor and then another two slash two times one wedge basically make sure it's one outwards from the small wheel so you have one layer of um, blueprints out from the small wheel and then once you've done that Delete this blueprint so you can place uh, this wedge, otherwise it won't fit, as you can see. And that will be the measuring distance between the wheels. And then once you've done that, fill the wheels in with brown wood, the middle in with gold wood. Show you guys how to do this part. And hopefully the rest of the tractor will be a lot easier to do because the wheels and the measuring distances are a pain in the ass. That's how you do the first part. Okay, so once you've done that, I'm going to teach you guys how to do this and this one. I'm not sure what these are called but they're basically um, wedges on the wheel to make it look more realistic. So I'll teach you how to do it on a big wheel and a small wheel and then basically you just replicate the design to the other side as well. Not too hard. Okay so first what you need to do is go and get a teeny floor blueprint and then place two of them on top of the smallest wheel then press B and then go and get the 1 slash 1 times 1 wedge blueprint and place two of them that way like that and then switch it over and then place another two of them like that across there and then rotate and then place another two going down like this and then switch to the other side and basically just do the same thing so place two of them going down like that so two teeny floors on top and then two one slash one has one more just going down there and then another two of them and switch over here again and then put two one slash one times one more just going down and then another two of them and then that should be how you create the thing for the small wheel and then replicate that design on the other wheel as well and for the bigger wheel basically going at a small floor place it on top of there in the middle like that and then going at the wedges the one slash one times one wedge again and on this side here going down we've got to place two of them basically as did with the first wheel so place two of them going down on this side like this. So two one slash one wedges going down then another two on that side. And for the other side you'll end up placing three going down so it reaches here so you can see this three wedges going down instead of two so make sure to do it at the front facing side and then two at the back. So again let's place three wedges going down like this and then another three at this side. I'm sorry if this tutorial is all over the place at the start, it's kind of hard to do the wheels and set up the positions, but once this is over it should be easier to follow. 
Okay, so again, place three wedges going down there, and then another three there. So one slash one times one wedge is going down, and that should be how you create this part of the tractor. Again, replicate that design onto that wheel, and that should be it. So next thing I'll show you guys how to do is the frame rate for the tractor at the top, and then this part at the front, and then the chairs and the wheel would be the best step next. Okay, so fill that in with whatever clear you're doing the tractor, so if it's green, do it green, if it's red, do it red. I recommend either green or red for a tractor. Okay, so I'll show you guys how to do that part next. Okay, so once you have done these things here, what you need to do next is go and get a large floor. So you've got a large floor, place it here. So on top of this gold like wheel thing there. So just be above that and in the middle of the wheel. And then go and get another large floor and place one on top like that. And then once you've done that, go and get post blueprint. And then place one post blueprint at each corner like this. And place another post blueprint on top of it. And this will be the basic tractor or the frame of the first part. Keep doing that. And then once you've done that, rotate it. And then place post blueprints going along the bottom like this. Rotate, rotate, rotate. And then on top, like on the top layer of these posts, do the same thing. Let's just say on this layer of the post here. So place post blueprints going around here. If I can do that. So once you have placed the post blueprint slim going around on the bottom here and also on like the top layer where these are, go and get a teeny floor blueprint. And basically fill in these gaps where the posts are. So it makes like a framework. So fill in them gaps there. Like this. So fill the gaps on the bottom where the posts are, I didn't connect up. And then do the same thing on the top, so I place two teeny floors, for, let's just say to fill in each um, corner of the post. <coughs> Doing that until you've filled it all in. Okay, so again, you'll need to place um, two large floor above like the gold thing in the middle. Also make sure the large floors are basically in the middle of the wheel. And then place two posts going up at each corner, so going up at each corner there. And then place posts going around at the bottom and also teeny floors to connect up so it's like a bottom framework as you can see. And on the top basically do the same thing. Place posts going around for the framework and then teeny floors to fill it all in there. And then on top we've got to just place another large floor. And that should be the first framework done. So basically just place a large floor on top of the first framework. Press B and that should be how you create the first part of the tractor. And then fill that in with either red wood or green wood. And then I'll show you guys how to do this part of the tractor. Okay, so I kind of miscalculated where this needs to be placed, but to fix it, basically move everything, all of this, down one. So basically, instead of being placed on top of this gold thing, make sure it's placed halfway between it, like everything, so move the large floor down one. And then proceed to move everything else down by one unit. And then that should be this framework done. I'm not sure how I messed up that particular part but you know mistakes happen so just do that for that part so it lines up and for this part this is much easier to do but first you need to just go and get a, a smooth wall blueprint and basically place the smooth wall blueprint at the bottom of that like that and then go and get a short smooth wall blueprint the half one and then place that there so make sure these two blueprints are connected to the end of here at the bottom 
and also make sure they're above this like gold dot in the middle and then once you've done that go and get another smooth wall blueprint and then place two there like that and then once you've done that make sure to slot a smooth wall in there and in here go and get a short smooth wall which is about 8 by 2 and basically just kind of uh, come over here and um, cover this gap up here so use a short smooth wall to cover that gap there and over here go and get another short smooth wall which is 8 units by 2 put it in there and then um, go and get a post blueprint and put that on top of the short smooth wall and then once you've done that make sure to fill the middle in with brown wood so that short smooth wall and that post and the rest of it in with red wood so again place 8 by 4 smooth wall at the bottom connected to that above this gold thing and then an 8 by 2 smooth wall connected to there above that thing and then on top of that place 2 smooth walls at each side and then slot a smooth wall in the middle also make sure to place a 4 by 2 short smooth wall inside there so it covers up this gap here and then over here make sure to place a short smooth wall on top of there and then a post on top of there and then fill them two blueprints with brown wood and the rest with red wood and then I'll teach you guys how to do the chair and the wheel next okay so once you've done that what you need to do first is go and get three small glass panes and go in here and make sure to place them at the bottom like that it's best to do this first before doing the wheel otherwise you'll probably end up having to do the wheel again because the glass will get in the way when you try to place it so just make sure to place three glass panes at the bottom and that should be sorted and then once you've done that go and get a wedge blueprint or something and kind of place it in the middle where you think the wheel would go so I'm going to place a wedge blueprint about there so I can make the wheel and then go and get a neon wire I mean, you can place a wheel anywhere but I kind of recommend to do it in the middle so I've placed mine there the best thing to do is like put the neon wire there kind of in the center and then drag it up against this wedge until it reaches like a point where it can't go up and then basically press enter or finish or whatever and then once you've dragged it up against the wedge go and delete the wedge blueprint it's kind of hard to like drag wires up against glass because you think you've placed them right but then you end up placing them all the way over there for some reason and once you've done that and got it right what you need to do is then go and get another wire and this will be kind of um, let's just say tedious because you basically got to wrap the neon wire around the wire going up so the thing to do is find a place where it would look good so let's just place it top of here I mean some wire experts can probably do this better but I'm not a wire expert as you can see so I'm going to place mine there and then basically you just kind of drag the wire around to make a wheel shape so just keep dragging it around it will get easier once the uh, wire gets bigger because it's harder to do but you basically drag it around the wire like that so the first layer is going to be kind of tricky to do hoping I'm doing this right let's so I've done that and then create another layer so I have to switch sides and try and find the best way to try and do this I think in this way probably be the best I'm hoping anyway so I think that's uh, good and then basically keep switching sides wrapping it around like a circle as you can see it gets easier once the wheel gets bigger because you have more wire to work with the only problem with the neon wire is thicker than normal wire but basically just keep dragging this around until you think the wheel's like big enough I think I'm just gonna stretch it to there and that should be the end of that wheel so basically just wrap it around the first knee and wire and make a circle shape okay so I'm going to press finish and then boom I've got a kind of 
or right wheel I guess I mean it's kind of diagonal but you know it doesn't have to be perfect and then go and get two chairs like this mundane chair and then place them at the back it's centered so let's just do this so I'm gonna place mine like one unit away from the post and then go and get another chair and do the same thing and place it one unit away from the bottom post so like this and once you've placed the chair one unit away from the post and that chair one unit away from the post at the back basically the rest of it is just filling in the window so you'll need um, four normal glass panes and 20 of these small glass panes unfortunately so basically just place these around the tractor so I'm going to show you what the layout is for the first window and then you can do it for the rest of the four windows it's pretty easy so um, that one goes there and then go and get two small glass panes to fill in this front gap like this okay Okay, so this is basically the pattern for all the windows. The best thing to do is first place um, five small glasses like in an L shape and then place a normal glass pane to fill in the other gap. So it would be like five small glasses going in an L shape upwards and then a normal pane there. And then basically just do that for all the windows. So there's four windows and then once you've done that you should be finished with the tractor. You can add the trailer on like a taut in the beginning or something or add any other detail. So I'm just going to do the rest of the glass and show you guys what the tractor looks like when it's finished. Okay, so the tractor is finished now. I'm going to show you around what it looks like. Pretty standard. I'm sure you guys can maybe find a way to improve this. I just kind of built this on a limb, honestly. Not the best tractor design. Okay, that's finished. If you want you can add a trailer on like I said or any other decorations. Hopefully this tutorial isn't all over the place. You can also glitch inside the tractor. Also please don't come on my base and do this. The amount of people that have had to like open the window for because they've glitched in. Yeah I've glitched inside a tractor which I can't get out unless I do this now. Okay let's just do that. Um, anyway that's how you make a tractor. Thanks for watching and bye.